Hi everyone. Hey. <laughs> you must be wondering what all this is here. Um, hang on a second. Um, this video is going to be a show and tell. Okay. So like first of all I just hope everyone is well and you're staying safe and you're staying home and not going out unless you uh, absolutely need to to go grocery shopping or hey, go to the drugstore or whatever anyhow just just please stay safe and healthy and keep your family safe anyhow like I said this is going to be a show and tell. All these here. <laughs> All these here I made years and years and years ago. When I first started get, getting into crafting, uh, the first thing that I painted was this. Oh my God. Let me show you was this okay I hope you can see that it's a scallop shell and I did that in August 23rd 1992 anyhow I was um, where I got the scallop shell is interesting um, my grandmother at the time she had a friend that lived in, um, had a bed and breakfast in Nova Scotia, an island called Grand Manan. And that's where the, um, anyhow, it was really nice there at the time. And uh, her friend's daughter, who worked in Ottawa, had come down uh, about three or four days after we got there for her vacation and for a hobby she would paint on scallop shells so so she told us where on the island we could go and get collect the scallop shells so we got a whole bunch of scallop shells and um, I didn't start painting until I got home anyhow for this you can see as you can see it's an elephant and at the time, all I had was a color of paint that I had was a blue, yellow, black and white. And obviously the black and white, I just mixed to do the different shades of gray for the elephant. And the yellow and blue I mixed to make green for the tall grasses. So that's the first thing I painted. <laughs> um, there are a lot of other things that I painted. I did uh, started out pole painting, and I also did some sewing. And I I sold dolls and and toys and that. So the first dolls that I did sew that I made cloth dolls was this guy. Was this guy? Okay, and. And his lady friend. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, they're made of uh, fabric, and um, that I stuffed to a fiber fill. Okay. So I made her a dress. That's the back of her. I put a little uh, straw hat on her. That's her. That's what she's made of. Her little dress. And uh, I, I made an, an apron for her also. You can see that. Anyhow, and I did her hair in wool, just wool. And I tied some, I uh, made ponytails and I made like, ribbon. And her face, I, um, I forget what kind of stitch that was for the eyes. Anyhow. And I did a little 
embroidery threads with the, for the her nose and her and her um, her mouth and I don't know what happened but some like she got wet at some point and some color ran anyhow so that's her and this is her gentleman friend there we go for him what I did was for his hair I just colored it with a fabric marker that I had at the time there you go he got his pants on <laughs> anyhow there you go okay so those two were the first dolls that I made I had made at the time I was working I had made quite a few of them and I sold quite a few at work the second doll that I made was this lady here she's also made of fabric she has bloomers that, that come off <laughs> and it's her dress okay and I sold her in such a way that her her knees bend ah. her knees bend it's hard to see right so she could sit and the same thing with her arms her arms could bend at the elbow anyhow that's her dress I made I put a ribbon in her hair she's got curly hair as you can see I have crew I have all kinds of doll hair and I made her glasses if you can see out of wire okay and her face her eyes and her mouth and her freckles and that I did with fabric um, markers I put a ribbon in her hair okay that's her and the same idea as her but I made a scarecrow now I don't know if you can see his face there did a scarecrow okay and the same thing his knees bend okay and his elbows his arm bends at the elbow it's all fabric and uh, I just tied his pants on with cord I put some cord around the ankle to hold in um, oh my god I forget the name of this stuff <laughs> and, yeah that's the back of him there okay a straw hat with some grasses and that in there that's it so it's hard to see his face that's the scarecrow okay and then let me see what else oh yes I made a crow there you go now he's he, he has a block of wood in him so that he could sit oh, he's, he's not going to sit on my arm whoops dropped him let's see there he could sit on the edge of something okay anyhow he's made of uh, his head it is made out of sock and this is a piece of sock also that I dyed that I dyed yellow and his uh, his body is made of black fabric and his legs and his feet are made of uh, socks also okay and they're stuffed and his face is also stuffed okay and I made a little bag for him because he was running away from home right <laughs> a little bag with him on a piece of a, a branch I just 
stick it into his belt there. And I made him, I made him a nest to sit in. Okay, now how I made the nest was I took a, a piece of burlap and I had a small bowl, a small mixing bowl that I covered with um with uh, plastic wrap. So and I and I put the um the uh, burlap on it and then I uh, covered it with um a fabric stiffener so that it'll stiffen and I stuck some little twigs and stuff like that on there. Anyhow, some of it's already fallen off over the years. So, okay, so that's my little crow. <laughs> Cute. Uh -huh. Let's see. Okay. And this is another doll that I had made. Now, she had a, a sister that went with her, but I had sold her. So she's also a fabric doll. Okay, that is stuffed. Her elbows bend. Okay. And her her legs don't bend. They just bend at the waist. So that's a pair of pants that she has on. <laughs> Bloomers or whatever you want to call them. Anyhow, that's just a simple dress with a ribbon at the neck. And her hair is made of uh, wool. And her face I just put on with um with a fabric marker. So that's that little doll. Hey. Now I also made a Humpty Dumpty. There you go. Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall. His knees also bend and his arms at the elbow. And there you go. He used to have a ribbon here, a bow. He used to have a bow tie here, but uh, like I said, over the years, <laughs> I'll have to make him a new one. Anyhow, that's it. His eyes and his nose are done with an embroidery floss, and so is his uh, mouth. I don't know if you can see that. And his pink cheeks, I put with a. Um, uh, what do you call it? A blush. Okay, and I made a dinosaur. Rrr. See the, the spine? Whoops. Okay. Yeah, I made a dinosaur. He's also he's made out of corduroy and it's stuffed with fiber fill. That's his back all the way down his spine. There. Okay, I put a straw hat on him, a bow tie, and his eyes are buttons, and his uh, his nose is also, and his mouth. And I don't know if you can see it's embroidery floss. Okay, yeah. Oh, that's the dinosaur. And I made a little pin cushion. Her head is um, uh, a wood bead, okay, a wood ball. Okay, and I, she's fabric and she's stuffed with a fiber fill, some lace and ribbon. That's the bottom, that's the back of her, the bowl in the back. And and some lace around her collar and a bow. That's her little pink cushion. Okay, what else? I made a couple of cats. There you go. No. They've got um, inside the bottom part, there's um, dried beans and there's some fiber seal on the top. Same thing with this one, fiber seal and some beans there so that they could sit on a table. 
and I just uh, for their features and that I just used um, fabric marker that I have at the time okay and for the whiskers it's just thread I don't know if you can see the whiskers it's just thread sorry anyhow okay that's those guys now one more thing that I had sold that I made this is cow no anyhow that's her ears okay and that's um uh, uh sizzle for her little bit of hair fur <laughs> and a cowbell and a ribbon around the neck okay and also for the features and for the for the features I used um, a fabric marker okay and also for the because it's made out of muslin but I used a uh, I dab paint brown paint on this one to make her spots and that's her tail. There. So there's the little cow. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. That's what I did, like I said, years ago. Um, and, oh my gosh. Like I said, I really, I started out also, I did toll painting. And... I also did baby quilts and I did pillows. Now, the baby quilts, I have some pictures. I'm just gonna, I don't know how good, how well you're gonna be able to see the pictures. Uh, let me just see for the baby quilts. I think I only have one picture. I should have another picture somewhere. They're they're Polaroids, so they might not be the best of uh, the best of shots. Uh, let me see. I also did pillows. Uh, okay. I can't find it right now. I had another picture of a baby quilt that I did. Oh, here it is. Okay. okay. So maybe, maybe I should turn. Okay. So. That's uh, one of the quilts that I made, baby quilts. Okay, what I did was I painted the image of the bear and the blocks that are, I don't know if you could tell the, the blocks that are in front of the uh, in front of the bear. I uh, spelled out the child's name at the time. And then, and then I added some fabric around the sides and I did some hand quilting. And the same thing with this one. I had painted the image of the of the rabbit, and the name of the child is on the on the blocks that are in front. I piled up in front that I also painted on there, and I added fabric for the borders, and I did some quilting. So that's that there now. What else do I have to show you? Oh, some pillows. Hang on. I'm just trying to take them out of here so it'll be a bit easier for you to see, hopefully. Like I said, these are all uh, Polaroids. <laughs> Okay. 
Okay. That's yours. I think that's it. Oh, there's no other one. Okay. Uh, sorry, it's taking a little bit of time. Okay. So, here's some pillows that I had done. I had that was, I did that one for, um, for my son when he was young. Okay, I just dropped one of the pictures. Anyhow, I painted the, uh, that's uh, Canadians, the Habs, Montreal Canadian team. I painted the, uh, their logo and I just, on some fabric, which is, I think, muslin, I did that on. And then I, um, just added some fabric around the blue border that you saw and I quilted around there. Okay. Let me just see. I just dropped the picture. I'm just trying to reach for it. Okay. Okay. There's a grouping of uh, pillows and there's also something I painted there that's hanging on my wall. I had painted for my grandmother. It was a wood thing. Um, uh, anyhow, so the pillows you see, this one, two cats of cats that my, uh, one of my nieces, she loved cats. And the other one is, uh, chess pieces. I did black and white reverse for my uh, nephew because he, he was a, a, a chess champion when he was younger. Okay. There's a close up of one of the cat pillows. And the Yankees. I don't know how close, how good you could see that, but that Yankee pillow was because that was my father's favorite baseball team. And I, I painted the logo on there on the fabric. And um, the other one is a, a pillow I had done for my grandmother. It's a scene with uh, trees and water and flowers. So. Uh, not very good shots for you to see. Now this pillow, um, the story behind this one was um, a friend of mine at work. He was also an artist. He had, he was uh, engaged at the time and for their wedding invitations, that was the image that he, that he, he came up for the, for their wedding for the uh, invitations. So he asked me to create a pillow for his wife to do the image on the pillow. So that's what I did. I took his image and I painted it on the pillow and uh, I put lace around the sides, around the outer, outer sides of it and I quilted it. Anyhow, he had written something in this corner here. Can't make out, I forget what he wrote, but it was a beautiful message to his wife. So that's that. Now these are a couple of wall hangings that I did. I painted and I quilted. it. And this one. Also I did this one for somebody at work for their daughter. Okay. So that's those. Now what I'm going to show you is some things that I have painted. Um, wood pieces. That's what's a plaque that went up on somebody's wall that I painted. A scenery there. Okay. Like I said, I'm not sure how well you can see these because they're on. Okay, that I'm going to show you in a minute. Uh, 
Okay. Now for this. This was also a wood piece that I painted, but this was a, um, okay. This was a little difficult to paint because it's, uh, as you can see, it's beveled and it's round. So I painted it in the center scenery that went around. I did like a farm scene. Oops. I don't know if you can see that very well. Anyhow, so there's pictures and some trees, a wooded area. Uh, yeah, okay, that's it for that. I also, let me see, oh, I did a milk stool. That's a milk stool that I had painted. I did a house and what you can't see really is two, there's two uh, cherubs at the top and they're, you know, shining down on the, the farmhouse. Anyhow. And this. Okay, this was also a wood box that I made that was sold. On the top, there's a picture of a, it's a Japanese lady kneeling in the garden, picking flowers. And in the back, you can't really see, but it's a hut. And on the front here, the front of the box, I painted, um, those are uh, bonsai trees on rocks. And then on each other side, I painted temples. And, okay. Then on the uh, inside, the top, when I did boxes at that time, on the inside box, the top of the box, this is, I painted a Japanese fan with, um, with some cherry blossoms. <laughs> Not very good shot, but sorry about that. Just showing you a little bit of what I did in the past, how I came to doing this, getting involved in um, no, mixed media art, <laughs> where I started. Um, oh my gosh, just trying to take to get the pictures out of the album. Um, okay. Okay, this, let's see, start here. Okay, this was the top of a Kleenex box that I did for a friend, for um, her baby to put in his room and the child's name I painted on here. His name was Joshua. And there's a teddy bear peeking up. I don't think you could see the teddy bear. And then on each side, uh, I painted, two bears, one on this side, like this one, and on the other side, and then the other <coughs> four, four sides, right? That's a different bear that I painted on two sides. Okay. This is also another wood box that I had painted, and I sold that work, and it's got flowers on the front, on the top. There's a close-up of it. That's the flowers. Okay. Okay. Yeah. This here 
this here, here, this one here, oh, this one here. Where am I going? Yeah, this one with the birds. That's on my wall above my desk. This, this one here. Ah, this one here. Jeez, this one here. Okay, that I had painted for my grandmother for one of her birthdays. And when she passed away, my uh, my uncle gave that back to me. And the other two pieces that you see are those are boxes that I painted that I had sold at work. Um, okay. Oh. Okay, this. Jeez. Okay, this is um this is also wood. It was a container that I had painted for somebody for work. One of my head nurses was retiring, so I painted this for her as a gift. And what's painted on there that you can't see, I painted a, she loved Lily, so I painted a Lily. Okay, that's that. And anyhow, I also painted bird houses. Let's see here. And I've given somebody as a gift. Okay. You can't really see the roof because it's dark. There you go. And that's the front. That's where the purchase and the hole is for the bird to go inside. This is the other side, one side of it. Uh, I did a window and underneath there's uh, flowers and add a bird bath and a bird. And this is the other side of it. I did um, a water pump and a barrel and some foliage. And this is the other side. Okay, I did a, I don't know if you can see, but there's a bench on there so you can sit and read and the fence behind it. Okay. And this, this is a metal box. Now this was a gift, a wedding gift to my son and my daughter-in-law when they got married for them to keepsake. And I had put their names on the front, the top, uh, Vicky and Bobby. I know in the center, I don't think you could see it on camera. But they love nature and wolves and all kinds of animals. So I saw decoupage all around the sides of it. All nature scenes and that I cut out from magazines. And I had painted, um, uh, what do you call those? Oh my God. What do you call them? Uh, acorns. <laughs> and leaves as spines and that anyhow okay now I also did some other boxes but uh, let's see uh, I don't think you could really see this this was also a commission for young kids, a uh, young girl. I'm gonna show you. Okay, for that box, I did a sketch. Oh, wait, there's something else here. Oh gosh, this is really good. Okay, this was a commission. Okay, but this was a, it was a stainless steel planter that, um, one of my head nurses asked me to do, to paint it for her. Anyhow, I did a scenery and like it was difficult to do because it's like round, right? So 
That's one side I did. Okay, that's one side I did. Okay, that's that's uh, that's to show you other parts of it. And this was the scene on the I did on the other side. So there's a gazebo and a, a flower garden and trees in the background, and you can see the sky. And there's um a bird bath with a bird in it. And I don't think you could see, but right here, there's a cat looking up at the bird. She loved cats, so I had to get a cat in there. So there's another picture of the gazebo. So, and, okay, now this. This was also a commission. This was for um, one of the nurses on the floors that I worked. Now, what, what this is, her brother had, it was just plain wood. Her brother made her, it's called a, um, a potato onion box. Now, the, at the bottom is a door you open. Okay, that put the onions in. And on the top, it flips up and you put your potatoes. So she asked me if I would paint something for her on there. So what I did was I made my own stain and I stained the whole thing for the back. And then on the front, you could see there's a little boy sitting like on the door. He's pulling up onions. Okay. And on the top, I did a picture of a little girl kneeling in a potato patch. And she's pulling, digging out potatoes. Anyhow, so I don't know if you can see if that'd be better, that picture. I also uh, did sketches on this. I'll show you in a minute. That's one side. I did um, a water pump and a, and a barrel full of water. And above that, there's like a shelf with some... Uh, garden stuff, like a watering can, and um, uh, there's, I think, a pot, a flower pot. And what you don't see, you can't see, there's a gardening gloss draped over the edge of the, um, of the shelf. Okay. And on the other side, there, I did a wheelbarrow up against the wall, and some garden tools and a branch a tree, tree branch. Okay, so that's that. And what else? Okay, there's a few more things, but I don't all have pictures of them. So I'm going to show you the sketch. This was my sketchbook. Okay, and I did some sketching. That's a sketch of the boy. I did. Pulling up uh, onions, okay. And that's just a onion drawing. I did their sketch. I did to get me some idea of what um, an onion looks like. And this is the little girl, okay. So that I did on the top. That's in the potato patch, okay. Digging up potatoes. And that's the wheelbarrow. Let's get to the wheelbarrow. Okay, that's just some sketching and some notes that I did. For the, this is the water pump. Okay, sketch. Okay. How I, how I did this sketch of the water pump, I was, uh, my grandmother and I were up at my uh, uncle's farm up in Ontario, and they had a water pump like this outside, so I sat and I, um, I sketched it, okay, and that's the shelf I did, and you can see here, maybe you can see the glove, 
Okay. And, and that's with the tree branch. Uh, I don't know if you can really see that through this. Anyhow, this was a, another sketch I did for something else. That's a little bench and there. Um, okay. This is also a painting I did on another box that, um, that had the sun. I painted the sun and there's all kinds of notes I did, a color of paint that I used and for what part of the uh, sun. Okay. Uh, you can see all that. That was a beautiful box that turned out. Um, okay. And that's a little one. The top of the box with those two little kids. I forget the name of them. Oh my God, somebody remembers. And on the tree, the tree, I did a swing and I sat a squirrel on it. Okay. And I fenced a couple of rabbits. And uh, that's it. That's it. Anyhow. So, now you've seen some of what I've done and what I do. And um, I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, please let me know in the comments what you think. Leave me a comment, like, share, and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already subscribed. I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you another time. Ciao.